Howdy guys, Paper Friday here, welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we went to battle a Super Blooper, and in this episode, we're going to fulfill some of this guy's favors. Yeah, that's, that's a Nintendo Capri Sun intro I was talking about in, like, two or three videos ago. Oh, what luck, you came at the perfect time, young man, could do yeah, another favor, or hungry kind of you, I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Well, then, young fella, I had an unusual last favors, but I have a secret wish to get the great Luigi's autograph. He's your brother, right? Yeah, young fella is truly super. Have you seen her, him jump? They should call him Air Luigi. If you could somehow get this out to drive, I'd be really happy. Could you help, young fella? Luigi's gonna get rather happy. Now, let's just go back home so we can get my brother's autograph. It's the autograph. And in the way, I'm going to explain why through the sewers is the only way you can get to Kabbalah right now. Um, so, actually, uh, it's been a while since we went to the Super Pot House, which is actually the name of Mario's house. Um, in the way, uh, you should come here and have the seeds planted. But you can see, uh, Colorado right there is standing, because, uh, there's a bully, which is called Can't See Koopa, and his, uh, head is pleasant patch, and Can't See Koopa is blocking it. So, if you want it to move away, you have to battle him, but I'm not going to be doing that just now, it's an optional boss fight, and I'm not going to do it just now. I'm going, I'm going to, do, to do it, but later. Not right now, later. Yeah, that's right, I'm going to do it later. Not now, later, 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 later. Later, alligator. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now if you, come, if you come back home, I think which is right here. Take him out. And talk to him. Oh, hanging out way up high sure was nice. Such a great view and everything. Oh, never mind. Saying such a cool hammer you got there. I bet you can't even beat, any, any, beat up enemies with hard shells now. What's that, Mario? You need something? Yes, I want your autograph. He what? Mr. Kubakut wants to get my autograph? Me? He wants me to sign something? Whoa, cool! I'm flattered. I guess maybe I'm a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait one second. I'm ready now. Right now. Okay, he didn't even write anything. Here you go, Mario, my autograph. Give my regards to Mr. Koopa Koopa, okay? And that is just gibberish. Okay, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Let's just hand it over to Koopa Hand it over. Hand it over to Koopa Koopa. Of course, this wouldn't be a Paper Mario Let's Play if there was not a single fight. So, in the way, let me go to the dojo and fight the master for the first time. Hey, wait, wait a second. No, my stats are not enough for that. I mean, they're enough, but I'm not I'm not healed or anything. So I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep while I'm back at Koopa Village. Uh, I just figured out the, the other day how to speed up my videos. I just don't want to speed up through these because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose the, uh, you know... Oh my god, my voice. I'm going to lose the track of time and I'm going to be like... In three minutes uh, into the video, I mean, with the spinning up and everything, and I'm, I'm gonna be like 15 minutes after recording, so it's gonna be like, uh, well, well, guys, I know it's been like 15 minutes into a recording, so I'm gonna end the video right there, and it's gonna be like three minutes. So that's why I don't wanna try it out right here. Who can tell my brothers you're a wizard, Mario? <laughs> I have so many kind of unique, unique treasures now. What a lucky cup I am. Here, take this and know that I am very grateful. You don't have to be so polite. I take this. And we get one freaking coin! Yeah, I want to do another favor. Um, the other day I went shopping at Koopa's shop in the village, but one on the way home I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? The memory is kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to the guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but after I got home, as it was gone. My hyper rental lady and I must find that wallet. Promise me you'll help. Well, that actually finds my uh, purpose because I want to sleep. Dark in the house, yeah. There's a guy who listens to the radio here. It was here, right? I think it was here. Oh jeez, I don't remember. Uh, when did I read? Oh, let's check quest mode. So, cowboys, I wanna try that quest. And I don't know how to sing, I guess. So, question what color pants was the Kuma King wearing? It was red and white. I think, yeah, red and white. 
Yeah, I can't believe I can, I'm, I'm remembering it from the prologue. It, it was so long ago. So, four questions. Now, that count is a little bit off because I encountered Chuck Quest Mobile back in Tough Town in between the, uh, the, the first prologue episode and this and the past episode, so... That's why it's a little bit off. I want to talk to Kupakut again because I didn't, I didn't quite heard what he said. Well, I didn't quite read. No. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, the other day I went shopping at Kupa's shop in the village, but on the way home I must have dropped my wallet on the road. So it's here in the village. I'm talking to that guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. Okay. Oh, now, now. That makes a little bit more sense. Because it's going to be right here. It was like in his daily constitutional, I guess. So... Um... Is this guy? Is it this guy? Can see Cooper used to live in this middle edge, but he always is going to hear you paying someone in the corner soon. Distortionist. If you want to hear stories about him, ask anyone in this village. You don't pay a giant Koopa named Ken C. Koopa's walking place in camp. I remember him. Ever since he was little, he's been able to fall asleep anytime, anywhere. It used to be impossible to wake him up. So, that can be a good strategy. That Ken C. Koopa came back and he's greeter than ever. We can't even go to Top Town without paying a huge toll. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to sleep right here, right now, because I... I want to battle that Ken C. Koopa soon enough. You know what I'm talking about, right? Maybe at the end of this video. Okay, so let's just keep on going, I guess. Because I can't seem to find that guy. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I love this song. Doesn't it remind you of a trouble I get down, y'all? Dude! I'm sure it should be there's a turtle leaf right here. I'm pretty sure the wall must be there. There we go. Empty wall. It is empty. Okay, that is the reason that why Kubakut only gets this one coin. He doesn't have any money, dude. Empty wallet. Give it to him. Oh, thanks, Star Heaven. Yeah, again. Okay, no. <laughs> it's another freaking coin. <sighs> When you find the time, I really do have a crazy for tasty time. Must shop some. I think I just have one. Yeah, I just have one. Yeah, thank you, whatever. Just give me something that is not a coin. Jesus Christ! Oh, what luck, you came and Yeah, I want. Okay, well then, you fella, I don't usually ask favors, but I've heard through the game great thing that there's a beautiful fortune to learn in the stream star summit. So if you would, I want you to hack up there and ask for an autograph. It's too shy. <laughs> I'm just doing this for the sake of completing the side quest, which, no, it's completed when you actually get the gold credit, which, if I remember correctly, I don't have. Uh, okay, let me know, let me know. Okay, no, we don't have the gold credit. That's why. I'm just doing the freaking favors to complete the freaking side quest. But... It's just too freaking irritating. Because you have to do a lot of that dragon. So I'm just gonna stop right here, see what badges you got. What's this? A Mega Quake? Okay, uh, it's too expensive for me. First attack, all or nothing. Okay, no, I don't want that. Um, that Mega Quake seems uh, very, 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 very attractive for me. I don't know about buying it, you know. This is very expensive. I should sell some of the ones, uh, some things that I have. I mean, you cannot sell badges, I think, but items should be okay. I mean, I already gave a tasty tonic for one freaking coin, which is pathetic, but you know. Okay, so talk to her from this side of the table and ask her. <sighs> oh what? Uh, this part is a little hard to remove. Blah blah. I'm sorry, I can't give you an autograph until you fulfill your promise. Okay, so now we gotta. Uh, this is just full of 
backtracking. <laughs> I want to have my freaking gold. I want to have my gold. <laughs> Come on. I want to go to the sewers again, I guess. Yeah, I love this game, man. That's why I was doing it. Oh, God. I'm just getting irritated right here. Ah, oh, but serves a purpose. I'm going to buy another curse in the way. Because we actually have to come right here. Oh, okay. Have to come right here. My older sister, Merlo Lovely, what she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh, okay, okay. Please give this to Merlo Lovely. We got from his. And I want to buy a curse. Please. 50 coins. A special. A petite curse. A special curse, of course. Oh, my neck. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot, I'll say. Okay, that's pretty helpful, we see. So, we've got a curse on us now. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. I will light your darkness hour. Even should you need a beast, do not fear. Not in the least, my spell makes a famine, a famine feast. A famine feast. <laughs> I never really read through that. I always just skip through it. Oh, well, anyways, let's just go back, hand it over to Merlo, please. He's back trucking. <laughs> and yeah, that's my random version, uh, my own render version of the Mario World. I think that's called the. Sports thing? No, the no, it's actually a ground thing. What am I thinking about? The sport, uh, the sports theme is from Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh well. You know what? In this time that I'm backtracking a lot, I should ask you guys, uh, what do you think about the the Wii U? I know, I think I already made the question, but I want to I want to know, what do you guys think about the Wii U? That looks actually more actually like a, an autograph. Okay. So, what do you guys think about the new Wii U? I mean, what about what do you think about the hardware? How about the specs that have been revealed, which are not that much? But what do you think about it being HD? Like, how, what do you think about the Zelda Tech demo that was at E3 and stuff? I know E3 happened like almost a month ago now, but you know. I think the day I, I uploaded is the I upload this video is a month and a day after E3, so yeah. Oh jeez. By the way, um, I don't know if it's if it's too soon. Yeah, maybe it's too soon. I'm not going to reveal it yet, but there's a popular Let's Player that uh, what's well, not as popular as Shaka Khan or Nintendo Prison, those guys. But it's getting uh, a lot more popular right now. He started to do a let's play of a game that I started recording like three months ago, just that I have not released even the first part, and I left the second part like in the half. So um, it was kind of embarrassing for me <laughs> because it was like I'm already past the, the middle of this game, and <laughs> you know, it was like. Oh my god, he just started the let's play, by the time I, I want to start it, a lot of people are going to be watching his, so... Yeah, it's not that. 
Um, not that encouraging, you know. Three star pieces. Wow, thank you for being so freaking nice. Screw you, screw you, screw you. I'm going to continue doing your favors whenever I finish this freaking game. Because I hate you. Gah! Anyhow. Uh, let's just finish this post-chapter post stuff. I'm getting stressed. Oh, wait, actually, there's something we didn't do when we actually finished chapter 4. Uh, we forgot to give the cookbook to Tasty. So, yeah, with that, he, she can actually cook uh, stuff with two ingredients. For example, I want to use my... Uh, my, 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 my super soda. Oh um, no, actually I want my mushroom. Super mushroom? No, I want the cupola leaf. And then she's going to ask it for another ingredient. But well, I don't know how, with what can I mix that, so I'm not using another ingredient. I'm gonna get some cup of tea. So tra la la. Chop chop chop, here we are, not too bad here. Please, cup of tea, blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm more to it. So, now we're going to figure out how to go in chapter 6. As you can see uh, before, there's a bubble here. Did you talk to him? Flower fields is a state of despair because of Bowser's minions. Please save us. Yep, and so, come here, talk to her. Bubbles come from a flower field land called flower fields. They say the flowers in flower fields are in trouble. To get to flower fields, you need four kinds of seeds that only bubbles possess. But where are the bubbles? Please, Mario, you must look for the seed and for the bubbles and seeds. Maybe Marlon's fortune telling could help you look. But there's the last magical seed, so plant it. Plant it. Yay, yay, whatever you want. And... A cutesy little pink door appears. Well, it's not... It's not pink, it's just the energy that, and the energy that it irradiates. Kia! At first it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly it appeared. It must be, you must be able to go to flowers from here. Uh, flowers? Flower fields? Mario, flower fields since you're eight. Please help. Oh, okay. So I'm going to end this right here. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, rate, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, like this video, favorite if it's one of your favorite videos. Uh, please, please, rate it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on if you like the video. It helps me a lot to know how I'm doing with the Let's Play. And I'm going to be seeing you guys the next time when we tackle, or, well, uh, when we enter Chapter 6. See you guys then. Bye.